Logan Paul is destroying right now. Yes. Logan Paul is killing it. He have it's you ever listened to his podcast? Just clips. Yeah, say well, I think I listened to a couple episodes, but I like how like on his podcast, he like does the least amount of work. He just asks a question like every five minutes or so. And then he has these two other guys that are like digging into the digging into the guests, like asking the hard questions. And Logan Paul's just like there, just like listening, and just like thinking. And he's like, okay, well, what about this? And then this fucking name is on the show, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, bro, like you don't even watch Impulsive for Logan anymore. You watch it for his friends. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, the radio shows, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a radio show. And I like that too. I like, cause Joe Rogan's kind of like that too. Joe Rogan's not, Oh, I know everything. I was like, I'm going to listen. I'm well, yeah, that's what, that's what was dope about Rogan's pod was that he had consistently talented and cool guests and then just let them talk about cool stuff. Yeah. And that's really the pod, I mean, especially for a guest oriented podcast, it's, it's a, the host is just a catalyst for the guest. I want to start a podcast where I just interview people mm-hmm. called the Bond Jet Program. Sure. And, but I need to find some guests. Who do I think is cool? I don't know. But like, I got to do it right. I got to do it like Lex Friedman. Every, we got to be on camera. Has to, they have to like come to my studio, sit down. We have a chat. Podcasts are a great conduit for guests and relationships. It's basically the only good thing about podcasts is the relationship. Great podcast is uh, Alex Ramosi's podcast. Short, sweet. Short, sweet. It's not. Sounds like shit. That's what I was going to suggest for the. Gary Vee does a thing. I think it's marketing oriented. And he gets a bunch of CMOs and like a legit grip like conference lineup but just on zoom has a producer who is his cmo for vayner x i think and ask them like two questions because i was going to say most people probably don't want to get on a 60 minute podcast with a random dude um but two minutes on zoom you might sign up for that most valuable podcasts sound like shit it all comes Two down black to guys with good credit. the biggest talent, man. It could be super produced show, pyrotechnics, fireworks. Uh, they could have a hologram of Lil Nas X. But if the people on it aren't talented enough to give good talks and content, it doesn't matter. It could be a two Zoom non paid for account and if people like to listen because there's good enough insight that's what matters most i don't i don't know i think joe rogan's kind of boring as a guy but it's like you watch him before the guest yeah that's what that's what it's always been usually that's what i think he's lacked lately he hasn't had dope like lex friedman has loki passed him up on being like that that podcast where there's how does consistently he hitters. I don't know Lex Friedman's how do you, history. How do you get this? I would look into Lex Friedman's history. Well, one, be, be, be a good money and, like I said, talent as an interviewer. Like Hot Ones gets... Hot Ones is a great example of why you get hitters on because you're not a normal boring interview and you do research and you're a good presenter that's that's the formula 